two minute clip. All right, word. All right, Dennis Miller, who I mean, we're gonna get no views on this because none of y'all know who he is. Oh, it's a comedy dynamics. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Oh, really? Yeah. So he was a yeah he was a uh, a comic. He was one of the best. He was one of the best Weekend Update guys ever. But um, he's known for his obscure references. And it's the trick you gotta just do. I figure out you gotta do a noun. Kareem Abdul. It's like Mad Libs. His his they don't even have to make sense. You just gotta be like cha cha. He's gotta add a cha cha or a babe at the end of it. It's like uh. I voted for Trump because he's dr- he's drone dr- he's <laughs> he's drone striking more civilians than Kareem Abdul Jabbar is hook shocking is doing hook shots on eight is enough. It's it's not it doesn't have to be you know it doesn't have to make any sense at all. He doesn't do it, but I don't think he really does that anymore. But anyways. Uh, yeah, he became a Republican. He once toured with uh, Bill, did a comedy tour with Bill O'Reilly. It was a huge success. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Right. He certainly drives the people who hate him absolutely crazy. I think that's what the country likes in a way. I, 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 I've never seen yeah. anything like it. What about the night Hillary launched the, the thing at the Javits Center? It's like a snowflake Jonestown. Jonestown only had 92 dead. Trump killed 600,000 people in 2018 alone. <laughs> but okay. I would compare him to uh, like 20 million, I, like 100. He's, he's killed more people than... Uh, <laughs> Then uh, you gotta do Dick Van Patten at a Gary Glitter concert. Cha cha. I'm scared. That's really that's what his weekend updates were like. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean I'm exaggerating. I mean I've I saw I heard one the other day where they did the weekend update 25th anniversary. It was Norm Chevy Chase and Dennis Miller. And then he's like. He's like talking about how many uh, shows he did or something. He's like, I spent more time than behind this because he was razzing Chevy Chase about only doing one year. And he goes, I spent more time behind this desk than Stanley Kubrick did in the editing room whacking off to (sighs) the uncut version of Eyes Wide Shut. Cha-cha. He how often did he actually go cha cha? <laughs> well, that's I think that's more like Dana Carvey's impression. Oh, okay. when Dana Carvey might have made it up. Oh, okay. I think he did it a few times, but he did say babe a lot. Babe, but, babe. He used to be like babe, Donnie. He'd be like razzing the the new kids on the block or it's whatever. It's so funny. He'd I be can like just, Donnie, babe. Just What's hearing with the, the laughs, dude? I can picture everybody in the audience, <laughs> and it's just. All blue button down shirts, and, oh, and, of, and then or that or affliction t shirts and MAGA hats. Yeah, <laughs> God, they're excited. There's not a person younger than 38 in that room. <laughs> Donald Trump is further into their heads than their favorite childhood memories. <laughs> He has driven Robert De Niro completely around the bend. Yeah, because Robert De Niro went to a fucking award ceremony and said, fuck Trump one time. So I guess he really got under his skin. He's losing him. He's, He's losing, losing his losing mind. It. And then every fucking Trump supporter started burning like they're good fellas. <laughs> they're, like, they're, like, they're like burning all their good fellas merch. Not on my watch. No, no, Rob. Or Bob, isn't that what? Bob. People who know him, they call him Bob. Call him Bob. (laughs) I was watching something with, uh, what's his name? Chaz Palmateri. Oh, yeah. And and they were talking about, no, no, he was like, if you call him Bob, you know him. If you call him Robert, you don't, you're being respectful. If you call him Bobby, the fuck out of here. (laughs) You and I call him? Mr. De Niro. I would call him, oh, you're shorter than I imagined. No, I'm just 
I go, I go, you're going to burn in hell like the rest of them. I would just do, I would just do random taxi driver lines and then hope that he knows it's from a movie he did and that it's the, not a crazy person <laughs> screaming at him. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Hey. <laughs> That's what I would feel like. I'd be like, hey, you're talking to me? <laughs> I would just reference, like, his less favorite movies. Oh, like just Showtime? Like, or, like, Meet the Parents? <laughs> oh, no. Would you, would you, uh, would you, I have nipples. I have nipples. What was that movie? Would you milk me? What was that movie that he was, in where he was, like, a, a, an expert safe cracker? <laughs> oh, Oh, is it the one with Ed, Ed Norton and uh, Marlon Brando? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, Three a Generations. Good-ass movie, but nobody ever fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, hey, the, the bank, the, the safe-cracking guy. What's the safe-cracking guy? <laughs> like, if I ever met fucking Seth Rogen, I'd just be like, dude, the guy from Tommy Darko. That's crazy. I'd be like, I think your podcast is destroying us. It's killing the world. Seth Rogen. Stop spreading disinformation. I would, I would just pretend I oh, thought it was Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. <laughs> like, stop setting, stop spreading disinformation. This is when it gets really good because he starts talking about Kanye. Oh God! And then he's just like, Yeah, you haven't listened to this at all. No, he doesn't realize. Wait till this is this is fucking funny. Dude. He doesn't realize that Kanye is living in his head more than his <laughs> favorite childhood memories. <laughs> I mean, have you seen the shoes? There's not, it's just cloth. They're nine hundred dollars. Kanye West supports Donald Trump, and now I like rap music by black people. And other guys have come to the fore and impressed me. Now listen, that's a big thing for Kanye West to do. I, I didn't know what to make of him. I always thought, what is his story? <laughs> I'd see him. He'd be drunk, uh, you know, grabbing Taylor Swift's. Grammy and I always think wow that is a weird cat but what he did I think is I think it's important in a way I, I, I... <laughs> that's important that's important hey no but what I like is the, when is, is when old... referring to the I'm gonna let you finish well no say... well I thought that was important actually <laughs> I was okay that because that was the greatest the video that was one an of the amazing greatest video that Beyonce video was one of the greatest videos I can't of all time. Imagine the budget that went into that fucking music that Beyonce video. video. Yes, there have probably been full length feature films that like had major releases in movie theaters Dude. in like two that in the mid two thousands that didn't cost as much as that fucking the music fucking video. The fucking dance. I don't even think she's that hot, but man, those thighs were. Fu- I wanted to die. There's I wanted to die like between her thighs. Fucking dancers. <laughs> Dude, it was so fucking good. And and so I, I kind of, that was back when I was on his side, but I, I don't think he's done much important shit after that. <laughs> what, Kanye? Yeah, well, he told uh, George W. Bush that he doesn't care about black people. That's I mean, fun. it's gone. It, yeah, it, it, he did that. And then, yeah, he did George Bush. I always get that in the Dixie Chicks things confused. They said George Bush... Did not, uh, George Bush started 9-11, didn't they? No, 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 no. They said, they went to England, and during a show, they, uh, they, and this was like right when they invaded Iraq, and she said, uh, and Natalie Maine said, just so you know, we're from Texas, and we're embarrassed that George Bush is from Texas. That's it? I thought they did something on an award show. They're country singers, so it's a different thing than Kanye. Kanye can get yeah, away no, with that I, shit. Yeah, no, I know. That's what I'm saying, like... I mean, they weren't relevant after that. <laughs> no, they fucking broke up the band. They were getting bombed. That's what I'm saying. I thought, that's why I thought it happened at like an award show. I mean, not at a country award show, but they still make music. Where I think that was their last big surge in record sales is when everybody bought their albums so they could destroy them. Yeah. That's but I just love it when a boomer, when a white boomer guy calls him calls a black guy a cat. Oh, did he call him a cat? Yeah, he goes, I, I thought he was a weird cat. Go back like a few seconds ago. I didn't even notice. I'd see him, he'd be drunk, uh, you know, grabbing Taylor Swift's Grammy, and I always think, wow, that is a Kanye West to do. I, I didn't know what to make of him. I always thought, what is his story? I'd see him, he'd be drunk, uh, you know, grabbing Taylor Swift's uh, Grammy, and I always think, what the oh. sorry. Donald Trump is further into their heads than their favorite child. 
and other guys have come to the fore and impressed me. Now, listen, that's a big thing for Kanye West to do. I, I didn't know what to make of him. I always thought, what is his story? I didn't call him a cool cat. Listen. Drunk, uh, you know, grabbing Taylor Swift's Grammy, and I always think, wow, that is a weird cat, but what he did he do? A weird cat. <laughs> Why'd you back it up so many I times? Because I didn't know where it was. I, did, I, don't, I, don't. I was just like, Jesus fucking Christ, you went back 40 fucking seconds. <laughs> You're the expert. What? On whatever. On sound and technology. <laughs> this. <laughs> Important in a way. I'm, I'm the young I, I think one. For a man, I mean, You're the young one. Really you know what that is. Longer. I mean, you know, you saw what he faced after he did that. He'll probably continue to face. <laughs> I think they had to ratchet it down for a few weeks because they thought, oh my God, we can't be that rough on this guy. He's like, you know, he, 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 he's just expressing his opinion. But I'm telling you, that's a seminal moment in this whole conflagration if indeed Kanye West has pushed all his chips in on Donald Trump because at that point... Not too worried about LPMs, this guy. <laughs> Fucking... No, no, they don't. They, they, yeah, dude, but I just love it. Here's Fake the thing. news, real jokes. I've heard one joke. <laughs> he's, I don't think he's really jokes. I don't know, there's a lot of comedians these days where jokes aren't their thing. And I, I don't think... And I think we can safely stop calling Dave Chappelle the greatest comedian of all time now that he's started his lecture series. Yeah, dude, has... I think say Norm like, is the greatest comedian of all time. He's just like, man, I'm too big to start a podcast, <laughs> but I want to just talk for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and so now I'm putting out specials like it's a podcast episode. <laughs> exactly, dude. Hey, you, um, but but here's the thing. Like, would you? I wouldn't consider Kanye West a cat. I always hear this. Christopher Hitchens called Obama. He wrote an essay called "The Cool Black Cat." <laughs> I hear Mark Marin call him doing it all the time, dude. I can't stand that, dude. I think of him more like a bull terrier who's being attacked by bees. <laughs> yeah, so like, <laughs> you think Yay's like that? Yeah, he shows up at TMZ and he's like, uh, "Slavery was a choice." 